Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand how to make the transistor level or zero NMOS circuitry for NOR based ROM array. In the previous clip, we have already seen how does a 2 is to 4 decoder work, what is the basic principle of working or the logic working for a NOR based ROM array, and we also went ahead and saw a zero NMOS circuit and how we are going to use it in the current drawing of NOR based ROM array. So with all that basics, we are all set to start. So let's quickly do. So this is nothing but my decoder, which is nothing but for the time being, I'll assume a two is to four decoder, which will have two address lines, say A0 and A1, would have four outputs. We'll call this, say, word line zero. This has word line one. This has word line two. And the last one being word line three. So four outputs, we have called it word line. Now let's draw the pull up circuit. Let's first make the first column, first column of NOR. So this is my VDD. NOR means we saw that input has to be connected in parallel at the pull down level. So suppose I'm going to draw this here going down going down not drawing anything here not drawing anything here again going down going down drawing something here as well and i can keep on doing this so this is my first column i'll explain you what did i do very shortly let's go and draw the second column you can make it the way you want you should be able to explain what you have drawn and then in the last case, I'll explain it to you if they have asked you to design it in a specific way, what you need to do. So this is my VDD. Again, let's go down. Let's go down. I don't want to put anything here. I want to put something here now. So this is an NMOS. I want to put something here as well. So this is my another NMOS. I want to put something here as well. If I thought, and it keeps on happening like this. Again, we'll see what's going to happen. Let's take one more column. You decide how you want. Let's go down, go down, go down, go down. Yes, let's put something here. So it's I'm if you understand, I'm making a zero nor, right? Because if you see, this is going to be my output. This is going to be my output. They are not dotted lines. They are real lines. This is just for your understanding. This is my output, right? And this node. Is connected to the output so is this node and the other node is grounded so they are in parallel only with inputs different same as the case here it's a three input nor see they are all connected to output and the other nodes are grounded fair enough so let's quickly go ahead and complete this as well i want to put something here as well and then i'm okay i don't want to do anything let's make one more for the last one let's quickly do it i just want to put it in the bottom two transistor in the bottom two i want to put the transistors yeah so let's now connect make the connections so this has the input word line zero the same word line goes the word line zero goes to this transistor also and it crosses word line one nothing on the first here it gives this as an input this also has the input and it crosses word line two input input and it crosses and word line three just that the diagram is down so i have to do it that way input and it crosses so let's call our outputs this is nothing but a nor array very straightforward this is nothing but let's say d3 d2 d1 and d0 yeah now let's take one case specifically suppose my a0 and a1 both are zero that means my word line zero is high and when my word line zero is high because it's an active high decoder word line one two and three all are going to be equal to zero and they are all nmoses so if this is zero that means there is no input no input no input that means all these transistors at this point of time are going to be off fine this is on this is on 
even before this happens you know what's happening your p1 p2 p3 and p4 all our transistors are on because their input which is nothing but a pmos has its input grounded so all are on so initially you have d3 d2 d1 and d0 all to be equal to logic high value does everyone agree to this because this is on so d3 would be vdd d2 would be vdd d1 would be vdd and d0 would be vdd as well so we understood that before my case one all four of them were towards vdd in case one we saw that for word line zero or what is the data in row zero correct can anyone help me now so now this transistor is on and so is this transistor so when this transistor is on we know that there's nothing but simple circuit like this where this is how it's going to look this a being one so this is on and this is on what we discussed was wherever there is an intersection of the row and the column here the row is the word line and the column is the output line of your nor there's an intersection and there's a transistor present so we discussed in the basics that we want to zero there so if this transistor is trying to pull the output towards vdd this is trying to pull it towards ground and we want the output to be equal to zero technically that says that the nmos should be stronger than pmos or in simple words w by l of nmos should be greater than w by l of pmos for us to get a value which is closer to zero presume we have designed it that way then at this node we will get a zero now let's see here is there anything present no nothing and initially it was charged to one so d2 will stay to one d1 again the transistor is present exactly the same phenomena will happen so this is trying to pull the output towards vdd this is trying to pull the output towards ground and will make this n more stronger so this will also be zero and again there is nothing present here so this will be one so data in row zero is given by d3 d2 d1 and d0 which is nothing but zero one zero one it again gives us the verification that wherever the transistor is present at the intersection of the row and the column i can have my zero at other places where the transistor is not present i'll be able to have my one which will be written let's go ahead and do for another row as well so data for row one let's do that now again d3 d2 d1 and d0 is there anything present here nothing is present fine so this is nothing but one correct now don't get confused that now d3 has gone to zero so how did it become to one because when this word line went high correct this word line went off so this transistor again was off so again due to pmos d3 went to one so keep that in mind so d3 one d2 a transistor is present now so this transistor and this transistor will behave like this circuit and there will be a zero at d2 at d1 also the same phenomena is happening so zero and d0 there is nothing present so it's a zero let's quickly go ahead and do it for row three as well so button for row two again d3 d2 d1 and d0 so is there a transistor present no so if there is nothing present write a one transistor present yes so zero not present so one present so zero similarly we can do it for d row three as well and there's nothing but a classic example of how the roms are written very very straightforward now if i ask you to program your rom such that d row five is equal to or say for that matter d row four is equal to one one zero zero how would you do this because a lot of times they ask you to design this you have taken it randomly so that i can explain you any values but if they ask you specifically that they want specifically that the fourth row should be written as one one zero zero what changes will you make into your circuit let's quickly go ahead and see so first and foremost it's the fourth row correct you know that when it's a two is to four decoder you get row 0 to row 3 so 0th row first row second row and third row 
So for fourth row, you will need an additional output, whereas two is to four decoder does not have it. So you will need a three is to eight decoder. Remember this and let's get started. So this is my three is to eight decoder. It will have three input lines. It's an active high decoder. So at one point of time, only one of them would be high. I'm concerned with word line four. This is my word line zero. Word line one, two, three. This is word line four. I'll make my pull ups. How many bit word? I have to write a four bit word. So there'll be four pull up transistors. Let's take this on the next screen 1100. Zero, zero. Data in row four is equal to 1100. Zero, zero. Row four technically means word line four here. So don't get confused because we are starting word line naming convention from zero. So that's how it is. And it's a four bit data. So four PMOSs in the pull up, which are grounded with its inputs. What if this would have been an eight bit data? One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one. I would have put four more PMOSs. Fair enough. So now in row four, here is where they want a one. So let's do the intersection. You want a one here, correct? So one, if you want, you don't want to place any transistors here. So let it go by. This is going to be my D3. So I got D3. D2 is also one. So here also again, nothing. So I'll not put anything in this intersection. It's just passing. 0 and 0. So here I will need to put a transistor at the intersection. So let's put it. Again, the same has to be done here as well. Let's see if this makes sense. This is my D2, D1, D0. So when my word line 4 is equal to 1, nothing present here we just saw when there is nothing present it would be a one so i got it nothing present here so when there's nothing present it's a one a transistor is present word line four is high so this transistor is on though pmos is also on will make our nmos stronger and that's the reason d1 would be pulled towards ground so i got a zero at d1 similarly the same explanation can be given for d0 as well so this is nothing but a classic example of how if any question is given to you how can you draw your NOR array? I'll quickly sum up this with a last row, say row one is equal to zero, 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 one. So row one is nothing but word line one in my convention here. So let's go to row one. Let's see. So D3, you want a zero. So zero means an intersection. You need a transistor. So this is how it's going to be. Let's take this input further. Here also you need a zero. So again, put another transistor. Here also you need a zero. So put another transistor. And the last one, you don't need anything. So you can just straight away bypass. See if this makes sense. So when word line one is high, that means this is off. This is high means this transistor is on, this is on, this is on, and they all try to pull their respective outputs D3, D2, and D1 towards zero. So D3, D2, and D1 goes towards zero. And there's nothing present here, so this will stay to one. And if there are eight words which you need to write, you will draw a similar circuit further as well. Here there'll be another PMOS, 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 and you'll accordingly put the pull down. Now this is called a NOR-based ROM array. Technically what happens is, this is not an identical cell. Identical cell means what's going to happen is this is very difficult to fabricate. So in real time, the, when the fabrication processes are taking place, what they do is they put the transistors at each and every intersection. So let's quickly understand this. Don't get confused at all. I'm going to explain this with regards to the same two rows. So here also, they would put 
the transistor again so this is for word line fourth here also at every node they will put the transistor so that a symmetric city is achieved basically what are we trying to do is suppose this is my grid of 4 cross 4 I am putting a transistor everywhere at every intersection so basically here at every intersection I am putting a transistor this is just a pictorial understanding don't get confused and this is my inputs which are coming it's not an intersection so here everywhere I will put a transistor then if everywhere the transistor is present how do I ensure that a zero is written so let's take this first case where the transistors are present in all the four places three four same is the case below as well now we saw that we wanted to write here zero 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 one so here you will make this gate connect with the word line here also you will make this gate connect with the word line here also you will make this gate connect with the word line in this case you will not make a connection of the word line with the gate so when no connection is made is as good as the transistor is just present just for symmetricity this is a symmetric layout which will help in a better physical design but technically this point is not connected at all to the word line similarly for word line 4 if you see you want 1 1 0 0 so here you don't want an NMOS but because of symmetricity you have put so you will not make this connection you will bypass this you will bypass this as well make the connection here make the connection here this process where you make a connection of your word line with your poly gate you are making a connection of your poly gate poly contact you are shorting your poly with this word line through a contact this is called a mask programmable ROM in which you ensure that your circuit is completely symmetric where at each cell there is a transistor present but all of them are not connected so this is nothing but mask programmable ROM very simple place an NMOS transistor everywhere wherever you want a 1 to be written don't make the connection wherever you want a 0 to be written make the gate connection with the word line which is nothing but the poly contact connection and this entire circuit is called as mass programmable ROM I hope you have followed NOR based ROM arrays in the further clips we will study EEPROM, double EEPROM and flash memories thank you very much stay tuned take care